The initial call for a felony traffic stop immediately turned tense with officers pulling their weapons. Put your hands out the window! A Windsor police officer says in his report he spotted a vehicle with dark tinted windows and no license plate displayed that was eluding police. Though a lawsuit says a paper license plate was visible in the rear window of the new car. How many occupants are in the vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? The two officers demanding U.S. Army Lieutenant Karin Nazario exit the SUV as the officer's body cameras and Nazario's cell phone were all rolling. What's going Get out on? The car now! What's going Nazario, on? who is black and Latino and was wearing What's his military uniform, asks repeatedly why he's being detained. I'm serving this country and this is how I'm treated. One of the responding officers appears to make a reference to the electric chair, according to the lawsuit. What's going on? You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. And then this exchange. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you, you should be. Get out. Back up. Whoa, Officer Joe on. Gutierrez then on. pepper sprays Nazario in the face. Hold on. That's f***ed up. Overnight in a statement, the town acknowledged the unfortunate events. Officer Gutierrez has since been terminated by the Windsor police. Now a civil suit alleging a violation of constitutional rights. My client wants to prevent, wants to prevent those two officers from doing it to anyone else. Nazario admits in his complaint that he didn't immediately pull over, driving nearly two minutes with his hazard lights on so he could stop at a well-lit gas station. In a report, one of the responding officers writes, the driver was actively resisting. When I attempted to unlock and open the driver's door, the driver assaulted myself by striking my hand away. The Supreme Court has held since 1977 that even for a routine traffic stop, officers have the power and the discretion to order a driver out of the car. We reached out to Officer Joe Gutierrez overnight. So far, we have not heard back after, after Virginia's Governor Ralph Northam. He's described this incident as disturbing, and he has directed the Virginia State Police to conduct an independent investigation. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.